After investigating Horson, which is explained in the previous video, Geralt now goes to Dijkstra as he knows Dandelion robbed his treasure, so he's planning to get some clues. Geralt directly asks Dijkstra if he knows about Dandelion, to which he replies Dandelion is probably dead as that's the fate of anyone who crosses Horson, but ultimately agrees to look for Dandelion if Geralt works a case with him. Geralt agrees. Through a secret passage they go to the underground tunnels in which Dijkstra's uh, treasure used to be hauled. It all becomes clear. Dijkstra wants Geralt to investigate and find who stole his treasure. By working the case, Geralt can find out what happened to Dandelion without alerting Dijkstra. Geralt looks around and finds out that a bomb came down the drain from a pool in the bathhouse and exploded the wall that separated Dijkstra's basement from sewers. Then robbers took the treasure through sewers and put it on a boat on the river. They go up to find which pool was used to throw the bomb. After finding it, they check to see who used it that day and it turns out a dead man used it. A guy named Hank. According to Dijkstra, he died in a brothel and because of the shame, his family held a secret funeral. So, few people knew about this. Dandelion and his accomplice used this identity to get in the bathhouse. Old Coop's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the breaking. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Dijkstra asks Geralt to investigate Henkel's house. Once there, Geralt finds components of a bomb and a letter from Dudu to Dandelion saying Manga, the commander of Temple Guard, has found out about their plan and has seized the treasure, and he asks Dandelion to flee. At that moment, Geralt hears footsteps. He leaves the room and sees Dijkstra in the house with Triss. Geralt tells him that Manga has the treasure. Hearing this, Dijkstra tells Geralt and Triss to find a way and talk to Manga to find where his treasure is. Once Dijkstra leaves, Geralt tells Triss he doesn't care about Dijkstra's treasure and that he's doing it to find Dandelion, who has information about Ciri. So Triss devises a plan to get into Witch Hunter's headquarters. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Ciri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Ciri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. She asks Garol to use her as a bait to get inside. Garol disagrees, knowing that they are gonna hurt dear darling Trace. But Triss insists and asks Geralt to control his temper until they get the information they want. Geralt goes with the plan, hard as it was, because from very start, witch hunters treated Triss badly and when Geralt was talking to Manga, Triss was being tortured the next room. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none.
Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Yeah, I've plowed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutations strip witches of feelings. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went, wee, wee, wee. Go! Oh! Bitch bit me! Ah, oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. After Geralt gets the information he wanted, he kills Menga. Triss frees herself and the do kill every witch hunter at the headquarters. And then burn the place down. Through the talk with Menga, Geralt gets to know that Dandelion is held in a prison beneath the Temple Isle. And the only way he gets out is by direct order of Manga himself, but Manga was planning to execute him. Geralt also gets hold of a key that belongs to Covirian Bank's vault in which Dijkstra's treasure is held. After burning the place down, Geralt and Dijkstra meet. Geralt tells him about Covirian Bank and gives him the key, so their business is done. Now to get Dandelion out of prison, Geralt devises a plan. He wants Dudu to assume Manga's form and order Dandelion to be taken to Oxenford, so Geralt can free him on the way. The problem is, he doesn't know where Dudu is, so he goes to Priscilla. She also has no idea where Dudu is, but she says Dudu loved mumming and participated in them, so she and Geralt decide to write a play, hoping Dudu comes to watch, and they can recognize him in the crowd. Priscilla writes a play and a group of friends, including Geralt himself, play it on a stage. Luckily, Dudu comes and they recognize him. After getting Dudu, they tell him what they want him to do and he agrees to plan. Geralt and Zoltan set the trap on the way and wait for the witch hunters escorting Dandelion. They finally show up and Geralt and his group attack. After some fighting and chasing, Geralt finally manages to free Dandelion. Two old friends meet, but Dandelion does not know where Siri is. According to him, when Horson got Dudu, Siri and him went to rescue. Then Horson's men chased Siri on Temple Isle. They fought, and one of the thugs shot a bolt at Siri. She managed to teleport and disappear at the very last moment. Damn it! Arrest that man! <laughs> 